today I'm here with another Clothe 3D tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to do a puffer jacket on Clothe 3D, obviously, um, using the new field tool that has been on since the 6.2 version of the software. Um, it can be a bit tricky, but hopefully today you get out of this video knowing how to do it. Uh, also, I'm going to have the link for the Patreon down below. You can go there and download the file that I have uh, on this video for you today. Okay, let's just jump on the Clo 3D and I'll show you guys how to make this a puffer jacket. Um, I hope you guys can see it well and yeah, let's just start. As you can see here, I have a basic bomber jacket, just one of my patterns and we're gonna make it as a puffer jacket now. Um, so the first thing you need to do is actually add the internal lines that we're gonna use later for the fill. Um, so I'm gonna delete that. Okay, let's do the internal lines. We select them there. Offset internal lines. I'm gonna do just five centimeters. We're gonna just focus on a very simple shape today. Um, so five centimeters apart. Okay. Do the same thing with the back. Just there. Offset internal lines. Just the exact same thing. And then we do the same for the sleeves. Obviously not as many. Okay. So there you go. You have all your internal lines there. And now we're going to actually use the fill tool. So this is it here on the 3D window. You're going to select every pattern piece that you want to be... Um, puffer so you want the effect to be on it so you click shift hold and select them all and then that's your copy you just click again um, there you go and then now you have your copy basically and all your lines are already purple as well so they are all selected um, to go to property, you just select them again and it's going to open your properties here. And this is why you can select how you want this to kind of look like. So we're going to go with duck 9010, weight 130. It's going to be divided with all of them though. Um, maybe let's calculate 130 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, I unselected one of them. <laughs> select again. So let's do right click calculator I want 130 for all one two three four five of them so that's going to be oh why did I divide it <laughs> 130 multiplied by five equals okay there you go and then the distance is the distance that you have your internal lines. So my ones are five centimeters. So now we're going to simulate and it's going to show us how this is actually looking like. Give it time. Obviously depends on how good your computer is and all that. So this is how it's looking like at the moment. You can see the differences between the lines and the puffer um, kind of simulation that it gives you. Obviously, if we turn the quality up to maybe 10, it will simulate better and it will take time. So I'm just going to speed this up. <laughs> I have on just a default simulation fabric, so obviously it's going to change depending on the weight of the fabric that you choose and all of that. So take that in consideration as well when you're simulating something. Obviously the leather is going to simulate differently than any other fabric, cotton fabric or a synthetic fabric. So take that in consideration as well. Obviously you guys can play around with this and make different shapes, make different shapes of the quilting and all of that. You can literally have a pattern and make that pattern 
your internal line and then use that internal line to have the puffer puffiness of the jacket but today I just wanted to show you guys how to use the fill tool and how to actually create a puffy um, simulated version of your garment so as you guys can see it gives you that simulation of a puffy jacket but you can use this for other things as well as I said so you can play around as well with the properties of the fill and just kind of see what they all do and just make sure you choose the best one for the simulation for the garment that you're trying to achieve as I said in the beginning of the video I'm gonna have the file just the garment file to download on patreon so if you want to support me and go there check it out um, I'm thinking of making ex exclusive videos for patreon exclusive uh, live streams and things like that for the ones that support me there so link will be in the description I hope you guys like this tutorial today thank you so much see you in the next video bye